Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing incredibly well. Thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and JC. We are done with the giveaway and I'll be announcing the lucky winners of our giveaway this episode. So make sure you watch this program till the end. Who's gonna win? Who's not going back home with some cool cash from 237 Showbiz? At the end of this show, I'll be calling out names of lucky winners. But before that, let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. Go nowhere guys, I'll be right back. More on Biggie updates guys, Biggie fakes two contestants eviction and it causes panic on social media. During Biggie's recent eviction, Fish and Patience were announced to be evicted just to see how the public will react and trust me reactions towards this were crazy because many said they will not be watching the show again if Fish and Patience are evicted and I feel like asking, does it mean it's only fish and patience bringing light to this season 2 of Biggie reality show. Nobody saw these fake evictions coming, but we all saw how these flatmates were brought back into the house. Reactions from other flatmates were insane when patients made her way back into the house. Watch this, guys. <laughs> As for Fish, this is how the ambience was when he made his way back into the house. Remember, four flatmates have been planning to overthrow Fish from the house whom they see as a threat because of his popularity. And this has made people to start doubting Fish's security in the house as people suggest his food and any other thing entering his stomach to be double-checked before. Do you see any need for such an alarm? Will you suggest Fish at this particular point with people threatening to push him out by all means to continue this reality show or to stop it? Guys, let me know in the comment section. After its nominations were highly criticized, the Canada ceremony which took place last weekend has been the talk of the day as many speaking Cameroonians saw this prestigious award as being biased and to some extent a scam. The nomination list had just a few English speaking artists on it and not up to three were awarded. Out of the 10 categories of this 13th edition of the Canal Door, Witty Minstrel was awarded Best Folklore Artist and we had Kan Kintos who was given the special award of recognition. The rest were just French speaking artists with the bunch of great singers we have in the English speaking zone. Now wow. Even Kosi who won Artist of the Year at the Cameroon Music Evolution Award did not even near the canal door. Oof, despite all the work he put in this year. Guys, was that fair? For much award winning Cameroonian MC Charlene, the award Witty Minstrel received was just a gift. And this is what she said. I see the Francophone Awards pass fine with all Francophones awarded. I mean, minus one where them dash we say make we no cry. Is she right by saying that, guys? Let me know in the comment section. And besides, congratulations to all the winners. Here are some red carpet moments of the 13th edition of the Canal Door Ceremony. Watch and enjoy, guys. Show me love, show me love. No do like say you like me, don't for back they killing me. Show me love, show me love. No do like say you like me, don't for back they killing me. Fake love, bad energy. No do like say you like me, don't for back they killing me. Fake love. They now attended the Canada ceremony with his Ivorian girlfriend Eunice and both celebrities attended the ceremony with the too much Bamoon wear in celebration of the Bamoon people. When we all thought his appearance at this event was a nice one, social media critics slammed him for that. We all know what happened with Dulo Dab Master during his tragic accident which claimed the life of a young girl called Erika. For many, Tena was not supposed to show up at this event, not to talk of being awarded Best Male Urban Artist. The thing, after his liberation from prison, Tena was supposed to stay on the low key for like three years before making public appearances. Others slammed the Canada Committee for encouraging the arts in his carelessness by giving him that award. For artist manager Nyajul, this is what he says. 
I mean, how on earth can an individual who admitted barely a while ago he was drunk on the driver's seat after a ghastly accident that led to the untimely death of a young, beautiful soul be not only nominated but granted an award? How is it even possible? We are sending the wrong message to the kids, especially a whole generation of young Cameroonians too. A message of defiance and impunity. You can't do me nothing. Do your worst. That's how societies breathe dictators by making them feel they are infallible. Does it mean Tenor should never be forgiven for his mistake? It's true that the accident had a serious loss, but it could have happened to anybody. Tenor during his award acceptance speech thanked everybody for being so supportive towards his situation and opened up about his future project. Said he'll be organizing a national tour to sensitize and educate the masses on road accidents. Isn't this a great step towards positive change, guys? Share your thoughts about that in the comment section. Cameroonian artist Mr. Shine, who was reported to have been arrested by the forces of law and order, has finally been taken to the New Bell Central Prison. According to the CEO of Balafon Radio, Siri Bojiko, the artist has been taken and deposited in the New Bell Central Prison with two other people and are accused of being involved in a hit and run with suspicions of him carrying out very illegal activities. More ample information on these have not yet been given, but stick to us on our various social media handles in case there's any update. Fast Rising Talent Jato Sonita has been awarded a 2 million francs CFA World Dubai trip as winner of the Star Rock with Nora Brown Music Contest 2021. Can we put our hands together for her? The beautiful singer will be joining Cameroonian rapper Nora Brown in Dubai in January 2022 in celebration of her 40th birthday. Her talent has started speaking for her. We equally have Ghanaian artist A.Y. Poyo who is requesting our star girl to feature on one of his songs. You see why it's good to always support our own. If we push this girl a little bit further, she will definitely go places. Please make sure you kindly share anything that comes from her as your own way of promoting the Cameroonian culture. Watch this recent video of hers. What will you do if your name features on the list of top 20 richest Cameroonians? You surely be glad, right? Cameroonian high tech mogul Rebecca Enonchon declines news of being a billionaire after the independent newspaper featured her on that list of top 20 richest Cameroonians. This is what she said, and I quote. Please, people, I am not a billionaire in dollars. I'm not among the 20 richest people in Cameroon either. This information is fake. I took it as a joke, but now it's taking another dimension. Will you accept the recognition if you were her? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Welcome on our international showbiz scene, guys. Facebook has changed its name to Meta not the meta that we know. So Mark Zuckerberg, founder and CEO of Facebook, announced the name change during a statement issued on Thursday, 28th of October. According to him, the change of name will reflect the company's efforts on rebranding its future operations. To reflect who we are and the future we hope to build, I am proud to share with you that our company is now called Meta, said the CEO. Mark equally said it is now Metaverse first, not Facebook first, meaning over time you won't need a Facebook account to use their other services. I heard the Meta people were celebrating everyone's social media that they have blown because Facebook now carries their tribe's name. On the other hand, Congolese artist Kofi Olomide is being accused of allegedly assaulting four of his former dancers. His trial will take place on the 13th of December and if he is found guilty, the artist will spend eight years in prison over sexual assault. 
that's all we have for the first segment of this program thank you so very much guys for still watching if you're new here please make sure you subscribe to our channel i'll be announcing in a few minutes the names of the lucky winners of our giveaway so watch this show till the end it is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest cameroonian songs this week go nowhere guys i'll be right back Welcome on our top 10 countdown guys. Opening our playlist is this beautiful brand new release titled Feeling You from Fragile Ferron featuring BPD and Mike Monster. Watch and enjoy. Popping up at the ninth position is Last Last from Tizzy Panchak. Popping up at the 8th position is Master Robinson with this brand new release titled Petit Tonton. Lil Humble comes up at the 7th position with this brand new release titled Take Me Home. Why can I live happily? These tears keep weighing down on me. Occupying our sixth position is this brand new smashing single titled Vanessa from Remy. V2M comes up at the fifth position with his brand new release titled Maya Maya. Are you at the sea on the regular? Come in, I can with the formula. And you are the talk on the radio, on the radio, yeah. Motobanga comes up at the fourth position with For You. Motobanga! Rap Mem Panda Beat. Montu from Cameroonian artist Oken featuring Ivorian artist Suspect 95 takes the third position. Aujourd'hui c'est mon jour. Je t'ai attendu au bout ces jours-ci. Kamini comes up at the second position with her brand new song titled Them. I don't suffer for this life, mon frère, I swear them no no. Anyhow you see me today, don't judge, I swear you know. Tapping our playlist this episode is this brand new smashing banger from Cameroonian group Rhythms. The song is titled Shabasiko. Watch and enjoy. Cause I've been a commando for your love. Welcome on Pick of the Week, guys. Nyanga Boy Art put up this beautiful art of Biggie Flatmate Noni White with a broken head. Is he insinuating that Noni White is an empty head? Doesn't mean Noni White has nothing in his head? It's not even patient. What are your thoughts about this app, guys? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, guys, this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Meng. It is time for us to know our lucky winners of the giveaway. And the four winners chosen for this giveaway are Chris Breezy, we have Pep Noela Nupe, we have Nicoline Beng, and we have Keng Beza Inna. Please make sure you contact to Teresa Mushu. Cool cash. Thank you so very much for participating. Guys, I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the Cameron entertainment industry, follow us. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's 237 Show Me. I'm very much active on our website. So make sure you are part of us on Telegram. The channel is 237 Show And follow our new division, 237 Show Studios. Do have a great weekend.